so i welcome you all this is the first part of our technical analysis course okay so in this part i am going to explain you what exactly is trading and uh, what are the things that are included in trading and types of trading and many much basic things we are going to cover you need to understand at this level itself okay what exactly is trading many people think that trading is uh, uh, you know it is like buying if i buy today and uh, i'll be i'll be a millionaire and billionaire in short term so it's not trading okay buying and selling is not trading trading is something different and trading is a business if you treat trading like a business then you will be uh, definitely be profitable in the long run okay and that should be our focus that we have to be profitable in long run whatever the situation comes in the market market might be bullish market might be bearish it might be in the in a side trade but you have to be profitable in every state of market so that basically we are going to learn further in this course okay so trading is all about probability okay so first you need to understand just you buy shiba coin just you buy bitcoin so it is not trading okay you buy it and hold it it is like an investment okay i am talking about talking about trading which we are going to further learn into this course is it's like technical and more about technical analysis you need to analyze the whole market and take your own decisions based on that on your analysis okay what are people might say on twitter they they might be bullish they might be bearish filtering the all those that noise you need to do your own analysis and uh, that we are going to learn in and that should be our target uh, during this course okay so trading is the mathematics of probability you need to understand this first what is probability okay means suppose i am taking 10 chances uh, if i am even if i am going doing gambling in casino even if i take 10 chances what is my probability of winning it might be i, I might win 10 chances i might lose 10 chances okay it is all about uh, luck in uh, when it comes to gambling or casino but when it comes to trading if you use probability okay so even if you lose uh 10 out of 7 times even if you lose so still you can be profitable at the end of the day so that is the magic of probability that you need to understand in trading okay so everyone has probability or winning rate of 60 70 80% so basically even if you win half of the times means five times you lose five times you win still you will be profitable uh, if you know how to do uh, proper trading with uh, risk analysis and everything okay so that we are going to learn so uh, our target will be uh, we have to increase this probability as we move on in our uh, you, during your trading career okay so trading is about mathematics of probability and more uh, we, we need to be uh, prof- it's not like you will be profitable 100% of the times even if you are right you know, 50% of the times even if you are wrong 50% of the times still you will be profitable okay so that is the magic of trading that we are going to learn okay also there are types of trading different types of trading see uh, many people are in different types of professions okay many people are doing job and doing trading as a side hustle so that is also okay many people have taken it as a career like me okay so i i am a professional crypto trader okay it is my full time business so it depends on the time what you have and uh, how you plan it so trading is for everyone that i want to, i would like to say there are different types of trading that you need to understand for this okay there are three types of tra- uh, basic trading methods that i want to teach you okay so first is intraday in intraday it is all about doing it today okay means intraday is all about buying today trading today and closing your all your positions by the end of the day so that is called intraday trading so if you are a full time trader if you choose to be a full time trader you can start intraday trading also like me okay then there is swing trading many people say i have my uh, full time paying job i don't want to quit it at, at this moment it is okay they can do swing trading so they can learn swing trading and they can trade it and uh, do it part time so uh, even if you are doing swing trade even if you spend one hour a day so that is also enough so many people think that uh, trading is about having three to four screen in uh, screens in front of you so it's nothing like that trading is uh, even if you have a laptop or a, de- a desktop screen it's okay so it can be done on that and uh, once you have the experience you can do it on the mobile also like i do on a cell phone okay so that that is also possible and any type of trading you can do then third type comes is position trading okay what is position trading position trading means you take a position so if you buy today so you take uh, you close your position like 3 months 4 months 5 months 6 months so in a bull market who whoever has uh, you know had bought bitcoin at 4000 dollars so if they have taken a position they have built a position around 4000 zone 10000 zone so uh, they easily have, must have sold around 60000 65000 
50,000 level. So that is called position trading in which you hold the position for a longer run. Okay. In swing, swing trading, what you do is you buy today, you, uh, you might sell tomorrow, you might sell in a one week, you might sell in two weeks. So time frame, it depends on the time frame that you have selected. Your type or uh, style of trading depends on the time frame that you select. Okay. Now we will move further and learn what is technical analysis. Okay. So this uh, this word you must have heard many times that he is a technical analyst he uh, he is a trader so this is very important term okay technical analysis so why technical analysis and why it is important that we are going to uh, see now so technical analysis is method to map the market sentiment see uh, there uh, since childhood you go to do doctor right so uh, whenever you go to doctor what he does is uh, first step he either uh, measures your temperature of your body using a thermometer okay then uh, he might um, you know measure your blood pressure also or heartbeats also uh, he also used stethoscope to uh, map your heartbeat and depending on that they give the judgment that either you are ill or you are not okay so this judgment is given uh, by the doctors uh, so, so so they use uh, different type of tools and methods to uh, map your body or check your body and then they give their analysis okay same way as a technical trader as a technical analyst or uh, as a trader you have to do the same thing you you come to the market you analyze the market okay so suppose you are an intraday trader okay so you will be thinking of a one day time frame so today I'll, what i'll be doing what all things I'll, i have to do that you plan for intraday okay in that in those things so you will analyze the market you will analyze the trend you will analyze the momentum you will analyze the mo mo you know volume and direction of the market everything you will anal analyze and then you will just make a conclusion that today I have to take a long position or else today market looks bearish it is coming down so I have to take a short position likewise uh, technical analysis uh, being a technical analysis trader so we can judge the uh, market sentiment and depending on that we can take our trading decisions okay so that is our goal important goal and comes under technical analysis okay so technical analysis also uh, includes uh, understanding the trend of the market the momentum of the market and sentiment see trend of the market what it means is uh, you must have heard there are different trends like uptrend is there downtrend is there like uh, there are different type of trends in the market so that we can anal analyze with technical analysis okay also momentum we can judge so many times market is quite volatile so if if it if it is near an event or uh, you know some big news is coming or some uh, FT, news like ftx is, is there in the market so momentum will be high okay there will be a very rapid movements in a short short span of time so that comes under momentum so that also we have to judge there are different tools we will be learning in this course okay then sentiment overall sentiment we will judge either market is bullish or it is bearish and depending on that we will take our decisions in the trading okay so technical analysis helps you plan your exits and entries in the market and manage losses also so that this is very important many people think that trading is like taking entry and uh, depending on the market if it, if it gives profit i'll wait if it gives loss then i'll close the position so that is gambling so we are not going to ga do gamble uh, henceforth uh, since we are learning technical analysis in technical analysis you uh, you you know where you want to enter you know where you where is your exit point and how to manage your losses and if uh, market goes in any direction okay so it is not in our hands so that is why technical analysis helps you uh, entry also exit also and manage your losses also so a good trader always manages his position likewise okay also technical analysis helps you take your own decisions in the market Many people are following telegram signals, whatsapp signals and what not, facebook signals and everything to take their entries and exits and there is no assurity that those people would be uh, you know giving you right signals always. So many times they give you wrong signals also you face losses so like these things might happen in the market. So there are many types of uh, services also available in the market but since we are learning technical analysis we have to learn. In, it is in such a way that we'll be taking our own decisions okay so we have to be profitable in the long term and we have to take our own decisions and technical analysis will definitely help you in that okay so that you need to understand then market is like moving waves see why i am saying that market is like moving waves uh, i'll give an example suppose uh, you are a surfer okay surfer you know uh, who uh, you know ride the tides of the ocean many times the tides are high many times the tides are low okay many times that there are no tides that also you uh, you might be knowing so it is like surfing so trading is like surfing so if they only if there are tides in the market only if there is a moment in the market 
then only you will be able to surf it okay surf the waves or ocean so likewise only if there is a mark a moment in the market so as a technical analysis or a trader we have to learn that when to ride it and when not to ride it and when to be calm and do nothing in the market okay so that is important that that is the main very basic point people miss uh, while learning technical analysis but i i would like to tell you at this stage only okay so moving further now i'll tell you some terminologies that we are going to use continuously during this course so that will help you understand what exactly exactly i'm talking about okay so first thing is charts so charts basically means you uh, you must have seen there are candlesticks diagrams and everything uh, everything is moving on the charts so uh, different types of lines you must have seen and waves you must have seen candlesticks you must have seen so it comes under charts so, so our technical analysis will, will be only around those charts so we'll be analyzing only charts uh, using our technical analysis and expertise okay so charts is the first element of market that we are going to study then there are trends and types okay what is a trend see if i draw a line on the screen so you can see that line so if i ask you which trend is this okay so anyone would say that uh, yes sir this is an uptrend right because it is going up then i'll ask you what exactly is this then you will say it is a downtrend right since it is going downside right likewise there is also one trend called side trend so what is a side trend when market is doing nothing and it is it is going a flat in the sideways way so that call, that is called trend okay so basically you need to understand what exactly is trend there are three types of trend uptrend downtrend and side sideways trend sorry so this is basically called a trend so i won't go uh, much deep into this at this stage we'll learn it further in, into the course okay then bulls and bears who are bulls bulls are those people who want to push the market upside okay so bulls are always pushing the market upside it is like bull pushing uh, using his horn to push people upside right so it is that is why it is called bull because what what bull does is he pushes everything upside using his horns he pushes everything upside so that that is why this terms is is used in the market those people who want to push the market upside they are called bulls okay and who are bears what is the motion of bears they use they use it downside or scratching it downside everything uh, whatever they have to do they do it like this okay they are pushing it downside so like that that is why who are bears bears are the people who want to people push the market downside okay further uh, there is market high market low okay market what is market high so you must have seen btc price ha- uh, went from 4000 dollars to 65000 dollars right so that is called market high so that is the high of the market uh, that could be a big time frame like means like weekly or monthly time frame what is the high of if i ask anyone what is the high of the bitcoin in on your monthly time frame okay so it will be at the highest point of the chart the, uh, where the price went so that that is the market high okay and what is the market low opposite of that which are is the bottom price where market must uh, the where the market uh, took support or recent low so that is the low of the market okay so if i ask you the what is the today's high or today's low so it it depends on the today's candle so if uh, what is the highest price what was the highest price yesterday it will be the highest price yesterday right what is the market low yesterday's market low so that will be lowest price yesterday okay likewise it is called market high and market low and it could be on any time frame it could be on daily time frame weekly monthly any time frame uh, we can see it okay so what i will be learning it more in detail don't worry about that then there is market open and market close okay uh, you must have heard that market opens at a specific time so when it comes to stock market you know stock market mostly opens at specific time suppose it it opens around 8 pm uh, 8 am okay so that will be uh, the first price where market opens is called market open price okay when the price starts uh, when the chart or the session of the stock market starts that will be the first market price open price of that market okay and what will be the close price you must have heard that stock market uh, closes around after 6 to 7 hours right it gets closed so whatever whatever is the last price that market uh, has faced during the uh, during the session market session uh, or today's stock market session so whichever pl- pr- at whichever price the market closes so that will be the market close price of that day okay and also when it comes to crypto right crypto is a 24 hours market so we it is not like stock market that we have a session of 6 hours 8 hours or something like that we have a 24 hours of session in crypto okay our market opens at uh, you know utc time 00 and it closes at utc time 00 so whichever is the opening price of our market that will be the first price that market will start at utc 00 
and after 24 hours whichever will be the end price that will be called the closing price of the market so technically uh, it is like circle for us because we are in a 24 hours market it is not uh, like 6 to 7 hours market even if it is not daily or weekly sessions there are opening and closing price for hourly also minutes also seconds also so that we are going to learn further so don't worry about that okay just understand this terminology uh, what i want to say okay then there are exchanges exchanges what are exchanges you must have uh, heard of binance you must have heard of uh, all the exchanges ftx also you know which recently crashed so binance is there ftx is there these are called exchanges where you you can buy and where you can sell your cryptocurrencies okay so these are called exchanges where we buy and sell our price uh, our assets okay so for trading we uh, for see for trading we have to buy somewhere or we have to sell somewhere right you so uh, like stock market they have uh, their brokerage houses or their brokers likewise we have exchanges where we trade our cryptocurrencies so exchanges you know okay then there comes long and short positions there are two types of positions see depending on the market direction so if i think the market is going to move up today then what i'll do i'll try to buy low and sell high so that will be my target today's because i think market can go up right today after my analysis if i say market is going going to go up then i'll take long position so this is called long position buying low and selling high is called long position okay likewise what is short position short position is when you buy at some price and if i if market goes against you means market is going down and if we are in a short position then we can make money okay isn't this magic that even if market is falling you can make money right so this is called short position where you buy at some price and if if the if you think the market is going down going to go down if your analysis says so then you take a short position in which you make profit if the market goes downside so you buy at specific point and uh, you close the position if the market goes down deep so that is also a short position so there are two types we we have seen long means buying low sell high and sell uh, short position is selling low buy uh, sell, selling high and buying low okay so you sell at high price and you buy at low price that is called short selling and if you buy at low price and sell at high price that is called long position okay so these basic terms you need to understand and keep keep those in mind whenever you'll be moving further in this course okay so these are the types of charts uh, you must have seen on the trading view and other platforms so this is the first type you you see on the left side is the line chart where you see uh, in the line format okay there is only a single line that will be defining or showing you the price of the chart okay then there are candlesticks so you see these lines green color lines red color lines boxes you can see red color boxes are there green color boxes are there these are all candlesticks okay so that is very important for us and we'll be learning it into the course okay so candlesticks uh, whatever you see in the on the on the screen these are candlesticks in which you see, you see a boxes and they have session so there are many uh, terminologies around that they'll be learning in the next part uh, so this is called candlestick chart the first one was line chart and there is bar chart also many, many use these types of charts also bar charts so we are not going to learn bar charts this is this is usually used by old traders like 50 60 70 years ago they used to use bar charts on their platforms but today we have candlestick uh, platforms so charts so we can use candlesticks also okay so now you know some basic things around the trading many new terms are going to come uh, in the further course but uh, it will be clear don't worry so that is my responsibility i'll be teaching you that so moving further uh, see you in the next part next part we'll learn candlesticks and uh, we'll be starting it actual course we'll start from there okay so see you in the next part take care bye bye see you so if you like the course subscribe the channel and see you again bye